from Americana to Zydeco, and everything in between. This is the Extended Play Sessions. What about me? What about me? I like something to be old. Be me in my soul. It's so nice of the chill inside my bones. I can pull your card or call your blood. never heard of the New England Music Awards until last year and um, I had recently signed on with Fleming and um, and I met a bunch of awesome people that year and played my first like really big shows and I ended up winning best new act of the year which was like humongous um, and actually it kick-started a lot of momentum for me so it I'm really, really excited for it this year because it's a whole different ball game now. And I know a lot more bands that are involved. I've met a lot of musicians over the past year that are like up for awards or just involved with putting it together. So um, I think it's a really great thing for the Northeast. And I know a lot of mu local musicians that are really excited about it. So it's something to look forward to. it's usually the most inconvenient time um, I don't write every day 
I'm not going to say that I'm a prolific writer because I'm not. I wish I wrote more. Um, but when it does happen, it's usually like vomit. Like all of a sudden it's just like comes over me and it's like I have to get this out now, like right now. And then I, I get it out and it's like an hour later and it's done. And then I hate it for a little bit and then I love it again and then I and then I send it to someone and then they like it or they don't like it and then I get a feel for it. But um, my writing process is super personal usually. Um, but lately I've been I've been writing for my alter ego. Um, <laughs> it, I guess everyone has one, right? You guys probably don't. Um, <laughs> but I do. And that's where I've been writing from for the past couple of months. And I, I am less dark than I was when I was writing from a personal place.
my biggest influences are Kurt Cobain and Stevie Nicks. And uh, I guess from a writing standpoint, I was a Nirvana baby. So um, it was like, I don't know, I just felt connected to it. And my parents gave me the Fleetwood Mac, the live album, The Dance, when I was like five. And I used to listen to it to go to sleep. And uh, I never had singing lessons. I kind of just learned to sing from the women that I listened to. The B-52s were like a huge influence on me. Um, which is sounds silly. Every time I say it, people are like, what? But so underrated. Um, the B-52's harmony is like out of this world. And even though they're talking about lobsters and like strange things, <laughs> does not mean that they are not competent musicians because they are amazing.
I have met along the way that have inspired me with their music and their soul. And I realize, and I realize that maybe, maybe because, maybe because of the New England Music Awards, maybe because of the amazing, astounding, inspiring artists that are here tonight, I have finally found the community of musicians and music lovers I was always looking for, you know. Are you listening? I said that we will shine. We will burn so bright. My mom signed me up for classical piano lessons when I was four. I took them until I was 14, and then it wasn't cool to play Chopin at the talent show anymore, so <laughs> I, p I picked up a guitar, and um, I, I mean, I'm not much of a guitar player. I can accompany myself, and I have a lot of fun when I play it, um, but uh, I kind of picked that up so I could sing, and I had never sang until I was 14, and it kind of all just took off. Um, yeah, I, I, piano is the thing that like allows me to write, though, definitely. Like, having a solid training was a huge thing, even though I hate, like, the years looking back, it was like hell, but it was worth, it was totally worth it.
You know, I've been having this Thank conversation you. like recently a lot about why why anyone would want to play music and um half the time I have this like uphill struggle with it. Um a lot of the time I'm like why why do I do this? Like it's sometimes it's not rewarding. Sometimes I feel empty. Sometimes it's not like like I feel like I'm a joke and my friends are all they all have six figure jobs and they're doing things that make sense and I'm just like this crazy weird artist thing that's like writing songs and uh but then the other half of the time it's like why wouldn't I do it like this is exactly what anyone should do like this is the ultimate form of expressing who you are it's the ultimate form of letting go it's the ultimate form of just like being your most heightened self like when I'm on stage I'm more myself than I am when I'm talking to you down like in those chairs like I I'm more anxious down there I'm uncomfortable I'm worried about things that don't matter but when I'm up here I'm confident I'm stronger I'm like like not worried about anything that's trivial at all um and I think I do it because half of me is super free and the other half just needs to let go of the other stuff. So I do it because half of me is officially liberated. And um, I feel like once I'm a full time musician, I will be completely liberated. But right now I'm still half shackled <laughs> to the normal world, but half half shackled. Half Shackled. <laughs> There's a new band name right there. <laughs> Sarah Barillo and Half Shackled. <laughs> I also do this because I'm insane. <laughs>